Good morning, pastors, leaders, brothers, and sisters in Christ. You don't mind? I will read my... <laughs> I have a code. <laughs> it's not getting young or anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I joined SIB Sungai Bulo less than a year. When the first time I joined, I felt so homely because of the warmness and close interaction to one another as it is a kingdom of God, as a kingdom feeling. My ex-church is a big congregation and it's very far from my house. I praise and thank God that I lead me here. I can't forget when myself and Marilyn joined the prayer retreat in Peace Haven. It's so refreshing and have an impact in my life. Whether I will quit as a Filipino life group leader in my ex-church, I'm serving since my two sons are only a kid. Since then, so plenty of my countrymen become pastors, leaders, and serving overseas and in the Philippines when they are working here and attended the Filipino ministry. All glory to God. Also, I thank and praise God since I ministered to Kajang Prison under my Malaysian care in the year 2015. Until now, many souls added in the kingdom of God. Until now, every time I minister to them, to all the remand, sentence, and death row inmates, I felt their sorrow and regret in their life because they are crying. I always encourage them that God has a purpose in their life. They are inside the prison. Through that prison, they come to know the Lord as their Lord and personal Savior. In darkness, and into light. I can't forget when I first time ministering to them, I was driving back home and recall the few Filipina told me that nobody gonna help them. I'm only a housewife. I testified the following week in Tuesday ladies service in my ex-church that have souls added in the kingdom of God. And I also mentioned that needs of the inmates, God touched the heart of one of my friends on that lady's service and called me to meet her. And she gave me 3,000 Malaysian ringgit. And since then, I managed to send back home many illegal Filipina that are caught by immigration. Also, God guide me. What is the process and procedure to buy the ticket and to contact the, the deportation officer where the inmates transfer them before I can buy the ticket? God is real. He guide me that time. I felt the joy and relief that every Filipina go back home and have a new journey in the life. Until now, I try my very best to help five Filipina in Pera prison that are death row. Sorry. Yeah. I thank and praise God for our Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim to open the case how many years they will be sentenced here. I just want to encourage everybody and myself that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And in Proverbs 11:25, the generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. I want to thank that I found and belong to SIBK as Sungal Bulu to serve God. All glory to God. Shalom, peace. Thanks so much, Marie.
You know what Maria does ministering to uh, uh, prisoners is really something so extraordinary, you know, and, and I know that for many of you, um, you may have ministry things that you do outside of church as well. I just really want um, to honour the work that you do even outside of these four walls. All of the work you do is unto the Lord and I just want to give God praise and thanks um, for, for the way Maria has touched so many lives, so many Filipinas, you know, who, whom she has been able to bless. Amen.